got a secret, can you keep it? Swear this one you'll save Better lock it in your pocket Taking this one to the grave If I show you, then I know you won't tell what I said Cause two can keep a secret if one of them is dead So starting off this Allison De Laurentiis look, I'm using some concealer. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sand. And I'm just applying that to my dark circles and blemishes and blending that out with a beauty sponge. Then I'm going to go in with this foundation from Wet n Wild. It's their Photo Focus foundation. And Elliot has a really flawless complexion, so I'm just trying to make sure that I cover all my redness and blemishes and just blend that out really nicely. So Allison doesn't have very defined brows, so I'm going to go in with a powder and I want to go in with a taupe shade, but before I do, I'm just using a spoolie and going through my natural eyebrows and brushing them just because hers aren't very defined they're kind of um, bushy and brushed straight up so that's what I'm doing I'm just taking the powder to fill in any sparse areas but I'm not defining my brows at all because her brows are not so if you want to have her brows this is pretty much all I did was just use a powder. And then for the eyes, I'm going in with Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette, taking a cool medium tone brown shade, and I'm going to put that in the crease just to help define the crease of the eye. Yes, Catherine. I have something I want to tell you, but you have to promise never to tell anyone. I promise. Do you swear on your life? I swear on my life. And then I'm just going in with a matte cream shade underneath the brow, just right on that brow bone to highlight it and to help blend that crease color as well. And it works best with a fluffy brush. It just helps blending a lot easier. So if you have a fluffy brush, I would suggest using that for this. Then I'm going to take a light champagne color and do a light wash over the lid with this. And I'm actually going to bring that in towards my inner tear duct area as well. Because a lot of her looks, um, the shadow kind of goes over that area and brightens it. So that's what I'm doing here. But any light champagne eyeshadow that you have will do for this. Then I'm going in with the Tardis eyeliner, and this is just a really black liquid liner. A lot of Allison's looks have a lot of black liner around the eyes, um, especially in the waterline too. So I'm doing that, but I'm keeping the top line not too thick. I'm trying to give it kind of a thin winged line. Of them is dead. Then I'm just going to line the waterline with this L'Oreal eyeliner. It's a cold pencil and it's really black and really dark, which is what Allie does. Then I'm taking this mascara and just putting tons of mascara on and also some false lashes. But to create that adorable chin that Allison has, the butt chin, I'm taking a few concealer shades and mixing them together and just drawing a line up the middle. And then I'm just going to contour my nose, forehead, and cheeks area. You can skip this step. It's totally up to you. I just thought I would do it to try to resemble her a little bit. 
I just, I really liked playing around with the chin. That was fun to do. Then I'm taking my brush and just buffing that out so that there's no harsh lines or edges. It's actually really easy to create on your chin. And then to set that, I'm going in with a contour powder. And I'm just going to go on top of all those areas and make it a little bit more defined and just set that cream product that I placed up. Then I'm going to bronze up the face because Allison has a nice bronze glow. And this is Wet n Wild's uh, bikini contest. And I'm just lightly bronzing that over my cheeks, nose, and forehead area and lightly on top of my chin. I don't want to mess up that fake butt chin that I created. I swear on my life. Then I'm just going to take a light baby doll pink blush shade and apply that lightly to my cheeks. Allison tends to wear a lot of pink toned blushes and lipsticks. And then I'm going in with a rosy pink lip liner from e.l.f. and I'm just lining my lips with that. and. Filling them in majority of the way, and then I'm going to top that off with Prim Cup from MAC, and I'm just placing that on top of that just to give it a nice light pink shade like Allison would wear. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll link all the previous Pretty Little Liar looks that I did down below. I have one more still yet to come. I cannot believe the series is coming to an end. Only one more episode to go. Let me know in the comments down below who do you think the Uber A is. As always, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless. Bye.